Hi people, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, you are welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber or returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to view my video to check my video. So in today's video, I want to talk about something I recently see Nigerian police um, video, Nigerian versus police video. Now you know it's trending now. There was a you a woman that normally travels around with bicycle, I mean bike, right? So She's traveling all over. She said she, she said she wants to travel all over the world, you know. So that lady was now videoing our Nigerian police and Ghana police. <laughs> Both of them say different different things, and I also have different different opinions. That's it's from my own like my from my own mind, my own opinion that I want to share here. So my own opinion on that video is what I want to share now. First of all, the let me talk about our Nigerian own. Firstly. So when she was interviewing her, when she get to our police, our Nigerian police, so she was talking to that police. I know I'm going to be putting the video, you're going to be seeing the video. Money, money, money. Money. Hey. Hello. Hello. How is everything? Everything is fine. From where? Netherlands. So what you bring up? What you want give me? So she was talking to her that she was talking to him. Like I so the, the first thing that man will actually be saying is that give me money. Give me money, 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 you know. First of all, she's been talking about, like, after asking for money, she asked about the family. Like, she said, hey, how's your family? How's everything? But first of all, the first thing she said is, give me money. Do you understand? Oh, my God. You know, that may actually seem like comedy, you know. To some people, we're laughing and also mocking it at the same time. But the first thing I will say about that is that... Normally... <laughs> I don't even know how to start, like how to pick it one by one. But I will share a talk my mind though. It's part of corrupt. That's a very big corruption in this country. You know, I think this corruption thing is more like, according to police, this Nigeria police, our Nigeria police, even people in Nigeria are complaining of Nigeria police. So, me even still talking, talking, talking. I don't know what I want to talk about because we all know Nigerian police. Nigerian police. Uh, Nigerian police. Mm, police your friend. <laughs> so, if you want to be safe in Nigeria, I don't think police is our friend in Nigeria. <laughs> because the rate of the corruption within these police people, I know that there may be some people out of those police people that are actually very good police, you know. But to say the truth, the corruption, the level of corruption is too much. Even our own people within ourselves, they're going to be taking you for things like meeting that's not even necessary. They're going to be arresting you for it. Those people, those three people they are supposed to arrest, they were doing bad things that they should go and fix. They will not go and fix them. Even if we call police now, maybe something is happening somewhere that is of a very dangerous thing. They know their place. Oh. They will go and pass past corner like... You know, they'll go and be passing through corners so that by then they'll come there. Even if they want to kill a lot of people, they will do everything they want to do before they come back. They will now come and be doing, bah, 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 you know, <laughs> that's them for that. So that one, I'm not really surprised about them. You know, whenever they see people, especially when they see that you have a very good car, or maybe you are speaking other language that you don't understand, they don't understand you very well. Even if you are not of that, if you are of country, of this country, Nigeria country, and you are from another state, Maybe you are Igbo, you go to Nigeria and play, and you're back, so you're, you're back, go to Igbo, please. They are going to be using that English and be saying, I'll be trying to exhaust money from you. You understand? That's what they do. Mm -hmm. I will not cite them. I will just say that the way it's supposed to be. That's corruption. You, these people, eh, stop this. Like, give us fees, la. Is that, is that too hard to ask for? Like, seriously, they're collecting salary. There are a lot of people that were unemployed. But you are employed at least you are getting paid i don't know <laughs> it's not like it's never enough i guess so let me now talk about the ghana police the ghana police actually was like Good to meet you today okay like i, I, I take your number then we'll be communicating uh, hey, give me your number give me your number you know the question is why did he want her number? <laughs> you get? First of all, that one, the first one actually asked for money. 
I like the fact that he actually went straight to the point. Give me money. That's what he's concerned about. He's not concerned about any other things. But that man, the one, the second one, the Ghana man, Ghana police, is actually like, give me your number. Give me your number. What do you want to use that number for? You're a man. She's a woman. So, if people want to think about it on a way that is of dirty mind, what would they be thinking? Like, ah, what do you want from this woman? You know? And second of all, if you want to think it on another way, if it's not in the dirty way, is that like you want a number to contact her? Like, you can easily contact her. Like, okay. I think we should stop going to corner. Even me twice. I'm supposed to stop going to corner now because it seems like you're actually going to call to ask for the money you want. It's money that you both are after. You're also going to ask for money. That's why you ask. But you are very smart. Yes, Ghana police is smart because it can actually defend what he wanted. Like, it can change the topic and say, I just wanted a, I just wanted a number because I don't know maybe where she's going. I'm trying to make her, like, I'm going to make sure that she's safe and I'll be calling her and I'll be making sure that she don't have any problem on the way. That's why I collect, I want to collect a number. You know, that one is white lies. It can give them a very big white lies and a very fat lies, I swear. But as for our Nigerian man, there is nothing he wants to use to defend himself. He just went straight to the point like, I need money and doing like comedy. It's also like putting brave, you understand? But trying to make that woman laugh so that at least, you know, she will start, she will start bring something out. She won't have a show, but to bring something out. Like Africa, wake up, Ghana, Nigeria, there's no difference right now. Hmm. That's your police, though. your police in Ghana. They say police of Ghana, they are very good, you know. Even the person I also saw someone that was writing, that one person actually said that if he has to choose, and that person has been to Ghana and Nigeria, he will say Ghana police is actually better than Nigerian police. It's one that's been there, you know. And as for what I see as well, I believe that Ghana police, you know. I can't really say that they are better or they are any different because the both of them actually demand for something. Meaning, they demand for something, the both of them. That means that they are both stained. They are not really, both of them are not pure. They are not really genuine, you know. They are both corrupt. Corrupted Nigerian Ghana police. That is, the both of them are corrupt. There is nothing you want to tell me. There is nothing you want to use to judge it because the man who has for money demanded for something and... The man who asked for number also demanded for something. You want a contact. That one is going to even be like lifetime enjoy. Like lifetime something that you are going to be. Lifetime is sorting, you know. You just, you just keep on calling. Hello, hmm, I need your help. I need this. I need, you know. That one is going to be on silence. Like me and you. You understand. But that one. They are even recording you. I don't know what's going on with these people. You saw the camera that they are recording. You are still saying, give me money. Give me money. Even when you firstly say, give me money. You can just change the topic. And save us some space. At least, please. What's going on with two people? They're just disgracing us everywhere. How about? Anyway. So what I think about the both of them is that none of them is uh, is pure. Like, it's like, okay, well, this one is civil. And this one is this. So, no, you are both dirty. So you are both corrupt. That's my own take. So please tell me whatever you think about it in the comment section. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.